Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're in the heart of Bangkok and I can't wait to show you one of the most luxurious stays in the city, the Sofitel Bangkok. So stay tuned for a full review. Sofitel is known for its blend of local Thai charm and French elegance and this place is the epitome of that. Just look at this lobby. The attention to detail is incredible. It's like stepping into a world of luxury and comfort. And after a long day exploring in Bangkok, there's nothing like coming back to this exquisite hotel. It's a perfect blend of comfort and style. From the moment we stepped into the hotel, the staff greeted us with genuine smiles and a level of attentiveness that was both impressive and heartwarming. The kindness wasn't just professional courtesy, it felt personal as if welcoming long lost friends rather than just guests. And we had a fantastic chat with all the ladies who were working in the lounge as well that day. If you book a Club Millesime room or if you're upgraded to one, then you'll have your check-in here in the lounge. And here's a list of all the benefits that you get. Also, what was really amazing was we arrived just in time for tea time. And so we were able to go and have some snacks immediately on arrival before we even went to our room. The food here is absolutely top class, delicious, freshly made, and we were thoroughly impressed with the tea time snacks. The lounge operates daily from 6.30 to 9 p.m. and from 6.30 to 10 a.m. you can have breakfast, from 2 to 4 you can have afternoon tea, and from 5 to 7 you can have your evening cocktails. But before any cocktails or evening canapes, we were off to the room. We were personally escorted to the room by Cow, who was a really charming and funny staff member. She gave us a thorough introduction to every part of the room and it was a very nice experience to come to your room, already find your bags in there, top service. Okay. And then wow. turn it on again. And everything, like the light, will be controlled here. Perfect. Yeah. And tele uh, temperature. Mm -hmm. You can do yeah, and sure. yeah, television that we don't have remote control, so you just pick Choose from this. What you want, yeah. yeah, and entertainment you can connect the Bluetooth or Netflix. Okay. Yes, and then room service. You have to put the card first, and then you can order. Okay. And if you have any question, you can press zero to call our operator as well, Perfect. and the spa promotion like. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. And make for tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely five star service. Here we are in the Sofitel Bangkok. Very, very nice. Oh, well. Yes, that feels amazing. I am very impressed. The check in was amazing. So friendly, laugh with laughter. Yes, absolutely everything that you expect from such a high end hotel. I am extremely impressed already with the room. Let's check out the room itself because that's always the most important. And uh, yes, here we have the thing that controls everything, the iPad that controls everything, and a really comfortable looking giant bed. Much bigger than the one we had the day before yesterday and yesterday. So now we even have a little desk here where uh, I can sit or work or do whatever I need to do because I have to do a lot of that today unfortunately. The life of a YouTuber is not as glamorous as one thinks. Now let's go and check out the bathroom. Oh yes, look at this, holy crap, okay, yeah, I'm uh, definitely regretting, major regret that uh, I did not book more nights here, absolutely, this is incredible, this is pure luxury, amazing mirror, fantastic light, I mean, you couldn't want anything better than that if you're putting on your makeup or, or look at that, the illusion of a million, a million me's. Amazing. Everything is this high end. Look at this leather, marble, lights, huge bath. Just again, another, oh, yeah, well, we, we all know what's uh, going to go down in there today. And uh, the gigantic, I have that now, I use the word gigantic and huge quite often, but this is really, Really big. And look at that bubble man. Very, very, very fancy. Fantastic. Separate toilet. Yes. A throne fit for a king. Yes, uh, yeah. Uh, I think you can hear that I'm incredibly impressed. And uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, I'll be staying here 
another time too. You gotta to find the, oh look, you've got little, little amenities. Beautiful. What is outside? Look at that. Okay, fine, I guess it's raining. It's not as impressive as it could have been, but this is a view to have. Look at that, you can see the Sheraton. You can see the Westin. You know what Hooters is? It's no need go there. No need, no need. Why? I will be your Hooter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see the tracks down there. There's a like skywalk that's connected directly to the BTS station. This is really super convenient. I do have to say that uh, I wish we had stayed here on an earlier night where we'd have more time, but look at this style. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, absolutely mind-boggling quality of hotel room, I have to say. You can really tell that everything is just perfect. And rooms are perfect, they can be perfect, but it's nothing if the stuff isn't. And honestly, for me, having like people who laugh and joke, have a great time with you, and honestly, that is exactly what makes, for me personally, the perfect hotel stay. And uh, yeah, especially in the, in the lounge, Cindy, and a cow. Yeah, fantastic. So we're gonna go check out the rooftop bar, we're gonna go check out the pool. What else are we checking out? The breakfast, we're gonna check out the lounge once again, cause as soon as time for like drinks. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. As I mentioned before, between five and 7 p.m. you have the Club Millicene drinks. This is basically the executive lounge and you have a whole selection of drinks that you can have, mocktails, cocktails, spirits, wines. Yeah, it was a very, very good menu, I do have to say but also they serve a very decent buffet, basically, where you can pick a bit at some cheese or some salads, but there was also something a little bit heftier, like pasta with cheese and pesto sauce. There were all kinds of things. There were these lasagna rolls, and of course I had to have some somtam with raw shrimp. Very, very cool, some very nice stuff. And of course, a lot of sweet things too, which I might have overindulged in as well. The macarons, absolutely amazing. And having some fancy drinks here is a good way to start your evening. The next day, it was already time to indulge in breakfast. Now the breakfast here is really, really fantastic. You have a lot of options. And I have to say personally, um, I'm more of a fan when there's more Asian options, but you have to remember this is a French inspired hotel And so there are a lot more European options compared to Asian options, let's say But believe me all the options that were there were absolutely spectacular and there's something for everybody Especially if you like spicy food, you won't be disappointed As usual, we had to get some staples, like some noodles. Of course, I got a whole micro buffet for myself of spicy, delicious things. But of course, we also had to test out the Eggs Benedict. And this definitely passed the test. And such hearty breakfasts should probably be accompanied by some sports or at least some relaxing in the sun. And here you can see the pool area and the spa bar. It was a really nice pool, I have to say felt quite nice and secluded and quiet and quite tropical as well and as you can see it was quite empty. Inviting cool crystal clear waters, warm sunshine and one or two towering structures overlooking the pool. But still the sunshine got to it. And if you prefer to do your exercise in the gym, there's also a very very nice gym here. Wooden floors, lots of machines, not the biggest gym that uh, you know exists the same but definitely big enough and what it lacks in space you get in views There's also a Japanese restaurant at the Sofitel called Maison Mizuki and uh, this offers a unique fusion of like whiskey, cocktails and sushi. Of course, we had to try some sushi. It was really good. 
A quick look at the lobby again at night before going upstairs to the Belga rooftop bar and brasserie. This place has both indoor and terrace seating on a panoramic terrace and you can enjoy some breathtaking views of Bangkok skyline. All we can say is that we had a fantastic stay at this hotel and we can absolutely recommend it. We were really sad to be leaving, but of course we were off to Vietnam and we're going to enjoy a lot of interesting places there. So please, if you enjoy this video, like and subscribe and join me next week in my next video. See you there.